after a week in the Jeep Gladiator Mojave, how do I like it? How does it compare to the Sport S? Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive JT. So it's been about a week since uh, I got the Jeep Gladiator Mojave, and I thought I'd get on here, give you guys my impressions of it, and tell you how I like it compared to the Sport S that I traded it for to my mother. So first of all, if you aren't familiar, it is a 2021 Jeep Gladiator Mojave. Uh, it does have the mud terrain tires on it, and it is the gorgeous Schnazberry Red. Love the color of it. Love the aggressive look of the truck. Of course, it's got that little raised hood part, that spoiler on the front, if you will, or, or hood scoop, I should say. Um, I didn't like that at first, if I'm being honest. I didn't like looking out over it, but as I've gotten used to it and spent some uh, seat time in it, I like it. I think it's, it's pretty cool. I actually like the way it looks now, so I guess it's just a matter of spending a little bit of time in it and getting used to it. Uh, as far as the power, let's talk about the power. I'm always talking about the power on all of my channels. Uh, it's equivalent. Uh, I don't really see a huge difference. Um, if anything, it could be slightly, and I'm being very picky, slightly less responsive or less power um, less off the line maybe and maybe that's due to the sprint booster i had a sprint booster on my other jeep gladiator so i may end up putting one on this one too i i really didn't think that you needed it for the gladiator but after experiencing both one with and one without yeah i think i'm probably going to put one on the mojave too because it just makes it even better than it already is otherwise feels pretty good handles the same I will make a note, and I've talked about this a couple of times, the tires that are on it, I mentioned it has the Falcon Wild Peak MTs. Uh, not a big fan of them, not a fan of the MTs. I love the Fa Falcon Wild Peaks, the AT3Ws, which by the way, I think is the way to go on this truck, and it's what will be on this truck soon. I actually have them on order, uh, but not the mud terrains. They're too rough. I don't really notice a difference in sound, so nothing there, but they just feel rougher on the road, particularly when you're on a smoother road or on an uneven surface like a brick surface or going slower. You can definitely feel those deeper, more aggressive knobs that tread. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, they have their purpose. They're designed for off-road. That's why they're a mud terrain, I guess, or in the case of the Jeep Gladiator Mojave, run in the sand. We don't have any sand here unless I was to go out to the beach, so don't really need those. Let's talk about the stance, because of course, the Jeep Gladiator Mojave comes with a lift. I think, and I can't remember off the top of my head, it's an inch, inch and a half, something like that. Love that. I think getting the Jeep Gladiator Mojave or the Jeep Gladiator at all up in the air a little bit just makes it look even more aggressive and gives it a stance that really is fitting for the Jeep Gladiator. Now, the wheel and tire setup that I have coming is gonna push those tires out a little bit. I love that look. Nothing too much. I don't like a whole lot of offset. You know, I want them to poke out a bit. A couple inches, three inches maybe, that's about it for me. I don't want it to be one of those trucks that the tire hangs out six inches from the, the fender well. I'm not a big fan of that, although on some, depending on the lift and the particular truck and the setup, it does look pretty good. So we have those coming, that should be, uh, that should be pretty cool as well. Now, let me mention the seats, um, the rest of the interior, the technology in it. It's identical, it's exactly the same as what I had in the Sport S, uh, excluding the embossment and stuff on the seats. That's different, of course. It's set up for the Mojave. It's got the Mojave name in it. It's trimmed in orange. I like that in the truck. It just gives it a little bit of pop. We've got some more orange accents in here around the vents and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. I am gonna be putting in a, a shade up here so that I can open my Sunrider soft top without getting blasted by the sun uh, and the wind. 
So that's gonna match as well. That should look pretty good in here, I hope. I hope it's the right shade. Uh, if I guessed right, it should be just fine. Um, seat comfort, gotta talk about that. I did say the seats are the same as to me as they are in the Sport S as far as the padding and the contouring and all that kind of stuff. They're awesome. I took a 19 hour one way trip in a Jeep Gladiator and I have to say, I never did get sore sitting in those seats. I do have lumbar support in here. Had to tone that down a little bit. Mom had that set pretty high. For me, it was kind of poking in my back and not as comfortable as I think it should be. So I did tone that down a little bit, but I still do have contact with it and I think it's pretty good. So I'm very happy with that. You know, one thing you always worry about when you trade vehicles, particularly if you're going with the same thing, uh, basically, is that you're not going to like the comfort of it. It's not going to feel the same from a seating standpoint, but it really does. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is the suspension. I mentioned it does have a lift on it. It is the Fox suspension setup. Uh, it is firmer. Everything in this is firmer. The steering is firmer. The ride is firmer. Everything is just more tight. Um, I got to say, if I'm being honest, I like the feel of the Sport S better as far as the comfort from a daily driver type standpoint. Everything was just a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more laid back, if you will. You didn't feel the bumps as much as you do in this. Not that it's horrible, and I am being picky, but you can feel things more in this truck. Steering takes more effort. It's not quite as smooth, I guess, as the Sport S was. It's not a bad thing. It's just the setup for this particular trim. Um, again, they set it up to be a higher speed sand runner, if you will. And I think they did a good job for that. You would want it set up that way if you were out running across the dunes somewhere. Uh, you wouldn't want it to be a real soft suspension with real loosey-goosey steering. And not that the Sport S has loosey-goosey steering, but it's just a little bit more relaxed than what it is in the Jeep Gladiator Mojave. So overall, what do I think of it? I love it. I think it's awesome. There are no regrets. There are differences, of course, and I knew there would be. I mean, I had driven this particular truck before as it was my mother's, so I had driven it before. I knew what it was like. It's not like I went out, got something I'd never had and had no experience with it. So I knew what I was in for when I got it, and obviously I like it or I would not have done it. Do I recommend it? Depends on what you like. I would test drive each of the different trim levels if you can find them anywhere and, uh, and get the one that feels the best to you. Don't buy just because it has a name on the side. That's just a badge after all. Although there is some suspension differences in wheels and tires and lift, so I guess there are differences. Anyway, I just wanted to get on, give you guys my impressions of the Jeep Gladiator Mojave, Mojave uh, after having it for a week. Leave a comment, let me know if you've got the Mojave or maybe a different trim level, what do you like and what don't you like about it? There's gotta be something I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive MT, all about mini trucks, currently the Hyundai Santa Cruz, and Rob Motive, all about Toyota Tacomas. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.